Canoeing through the marsh, I came across these newly hatched, fiery colored American coots, drying off on their cattail nest. They sure want to be noticed, I thought to myself, as long as it's only their parents that do the noticing. Color plays a big role as to how they're going to get treated by their parents. Soon they are out and about feeding on vegetation and protein packed insects. Their futures, like so many young animals, are dependent upon their parents. And who will get the bulk of the food is influenced by their color. Coots are members of the rail family, a species well known for their shyness. Coots don't behave this way. They are conspicuous, noisy, and aggressively territorial. They are very good divers, capable of bringing submerged delicacies up to the surface. And this doesn't go unnoticed by others in the marsh. It's a food source just waiting for pirates. And the marsh is a busy place, especially in the spring. Today, American Widgeons have invited themselves to the Coots dinner table. After all, they enjoy many of the same plants that the coots do and are not suited for diving like coots are. For the most part, it's all fine and dandy until the welcome becomes a bit worn out. Sometimes, it might just put you in a bad mood for the rest of the day. Soon enough, it's back to business as usual. And this can include the business of being grumpy. Perhaps a good wet face dip might help. Or try dressing up a bit. The fact is that moments of grumpiness is shared by many.
We'll just blame this next incident on an overcrowded marsh. Piedbill Grebe and Coot Collision is avoided. Few are immune from the stresses of springtime courtship. A peaceful moment on the marsh can quickly change. Most pay little attention, but some might leave. It couldn't have been that bad as the scop quickly returns, but the coot has decided to move on also, and it forgot to uninvite its dinner guests. No reason to hang around now. Or perhaps the scop knows something we don't. Although the marsh may have its chaotic moments, less dramatic scenes play out as well. American coot style. As the sun sets over these wetlands, tranquility calms the marsh. Sort of.
before we know it, spring and summer have passed. and the migration that brought so many birds northward will be sending them southward again as the marshes freeze over. As long as there are open patches of water and fields of grain that have not been covered with snow, they will stay a while. Their time will be spent cautiously maneuvering the slippery ice. While picking at any edible vegetation they can find. walking with others of their kind for whatever reason and roosting. The coots are here also tucked in with the rafts of waterfall. At first, their ice landings are suspect at best. But they're not the only ones dealing with these slippery conditions. So the coots begin looking at these conditions in another way and start flying out onto the ice, seemingly on purpose. Now the fun begins, trying to get back to the water in an upright position. More of them get the idea. As others try to figure out what's going on. Once in a while, one will cheat. But what fun is that? This game of slip and slide is just way too much fun for these thrill-seeking coots. As it 
goes on for hours. 